everyone, welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another vlog. How's it going? Come and spend another week or weekish with me. Valentine's Day is coming up, so I have a lot of fun things, hopefully, to record for Valentine's Day. Um, I need to do some shopping. We've got plushies to haul. We have a whole lot of fun stuff to do in today's video, so stick around. I'm starting this video off literally like at almost midnight. Today's been really good, just really busy. I impromptuly switched my stream over to be a crochet stream instead of a regular Animal Crossing stream, and that was really, really fun, so I'll put a few clips of that stream right here. These little feet are gonna be so cute. <laughs> Most people do a decrease with single crochet by putting it into the stitch, picking up a loop, going into the next one, picking up a loop, and then pulling through all of them. I feel like that makes it bulky and you can see the decreases on your work. Well, not with this yarn, but in general. So what I do instead is I go through the front loop of the first stitch and then I immediately go through the front loop of the next one and I just pull through both of those and then pull through that. That's my single crochet decrease that I do. I've been crocheting for so many years now. When I turn 25, crisis, it will be 15 years of me crocheting, which is wild. Because I started when I was, wait, no. I don't know how to do math. Don't listen to me. I'm not going to be 30. <laughs> 10 years. 10 years. No, 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 no. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. SpongeBob arms, stop. <laughs> guess what I have to stuff it with. Take a wild, wild guess. If you guessed Squishmallow stuffing from deceased Squishmallows, you would be right. This looks so funny right now. <laughs> it kind of looks like a tooth with arms coming out of its head. <laughs> it's definitely a trust the process moment. <laughs> Yeah, it kind of is right now, because what is this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god. It looks like an Among Us dude with pigtails. <laughs> I think it's starting to... <laughs> it's starting to look like something. Kind of. The head does kind of look like a butt. Okay, now what is this? What is this right now? The butt crack. I can't. Okay. Head looks better. Head looks better. I think the stick arms are so cute. Okay. It's her pointer finger. I guess it's this one, even though this is her middle finger. She's she's doing uwu. Uwu? Put your hands in the air. Ah. Uh. Okay, sorry. Since coquette is the moment right now we need to give miss dumpling noodle a little bow what do we think of miss dumpling noodle did the vision come together or not remember the hard times remember the hard times where her head looked like a butt when it looked questionable and you didn't believe you didn't believe and here she is. But anyways, we're starting off in my kitchen because I want to do some unhinged 1 a.m. baking. I really want to bring some cute Valentine's Day cupcakes to my weekly card game night that I go to every week. We just get together somewhere and play Magic the Gathering and it's a whole lot of fun. I've been going for a while now, so I want to bring some cupcakes and I wanted to make them. Um, I'm not really going to do everything like homemade, like probably just the frosting. I'm just going to use like box mix for the cupcakes, but at the very least I wanted to get the actual cake parts done tonight because they need time to cool. They need to be like fully room temperature before they can be frosted and all that good stuff. I don't have all the supplies to frost yet, so we're going to have to do some shopping tomorrow, but that's for tomorrow me's problem. Tonight, let's focus on making the cupcakes. I just got some super simple Walmart brand cake mixes and I'm just gonna make these into cupcakes. They even say they make 24 cupcakes. I'm just gonna preheat the oven really quick. And each box does make 24 cupcakes, so I'll probably do 12 yellow, 12 chocolate. Here's my one singular cupcake pan. At least this makes 12. Okay, so if I wanna make 24, I just have to do this twice. That's not that bad. I also do have a mini one. We'll see if I wanna use that. I also have this from Target that I bought like two years ago and have not used a singular time. I don't know if I can use this for cupcakes. Maybe we can use it for something else. I don't know, but let's try to actually use this. So one thing that I do not have is a mixer. I used to have one. I do not know what happened to it. But if I want to make homemade frosting, I'm going to need a mixer. So 
We'll probably pick one up tomorrow. You know, if I really wanted to, I could combine this with some food coloring and make it pink cake. But I think I'll just keep it simple. I'm gonna do the frosting potentially pink anyway, so. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now it's time to load these babies up. I had these Valentine's Day uh, cupcake liners for like years and I still haven't gone through them all. Um, so I think I'm gonna do plain and then we'll have like one patterned one. So since we have three colors, we'll just do a row of each here. I just realized I didn't angle that back down. Wow, okay, well, there they are. Yeah, let's see how two tablespoons measures up. Eh, it's not really half full. Maybe we'll start off with two tablespoons and then I'll just go get like a tablespoon and <laughs> add that in later at the end. Okay, so I filled all of them up and now I'm just doing a half tablespoon extra on all of them because I feel like it needs a little more, but like not that much. Would it be too much to try and put them inside of this? I think this is made for donuts, but I kind of want to try it. How am I supposed to get this in here? Hmm, I have an idea. Haha, -ha. we put it in a plastic baggie and then we cut the tip and then it will hopefully be easy to pour. Okay, this is much easier. Okay, I, that was probably way too much. Uh, okay, just one round about. And honestly, that's probably good. Oh my God, that's so much. Can you tell where I ran out of cake mix in the bag? Yeah, I filled these way too much. I filled these way too much. This is gonna be really bad. At the very least, I got to say that I finally used this dang donut thing. It is 2.40 and I just finished. Here we have the main cupcakes plus extra that didn't fit on here. And then we have like the little donut thingies. I actually have an idea for these that I can maybe use with the cupcakes. We shall see tomorrow, but if not, these are just for me. These are just for me. And I had extra batter for a bunch of minis. So I have some minis plus some bonus extras. <laughs> So that's super cute and I figured I could at least use this heart tray to like store them, transport them, whatever. I don't even know what I'm doing with these. So I am pretty wiped out. I'm just gonna clean all this up, let all of this cool, put it away and I'm gonna go to sleep. So I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next day. I need some more supplies for the cupcakes to finish those off today. So we're running to Target. I'm gonna do some last minute Valentine's Day shopping as well because I need to pick up two more things for my boyfriend's little like Valentine's Day basket. I just blow dried my hair and I feel like it looks so good today. At least like this side specifically we'll see if it stays that way <laughs> i like sometimes will curl up the the edges right here of like my side bang whatever but like i don't have a hairspray or anything just because i just washed my hair and i want it to feel clean so we'll see how much it holds up today but anyways let's get going to target here's the outfit by the way pretty simple but got the valentine's day purse these are so cute these are little egg holders this this would be so extra but imagine these for beauty blenders stop so cute okay first stop is trading cards from magic cards for my boyfriend's thingy uh they don't really have that many options here i know this is the newest release so i guess i'll just get him this one i don't know how interested he was in these but whatever i'll just get him this and fortnite gift card fortnite gift card please where's the fortnite gift card there's roblox okay they didn't have any steam or fortnite so i'm going with the other thing he spends too much money on um uh, uber uber eats gift cards yeah now the lego section let's see if i can find the specific one i'm looking for oh it's right here I'm gonna get him this knuckles back he has this shadow one and it cracks me up so i think this is the next step
as much as I would absolutely love to do a little car haul right now, I need to get home. I need to get to decorating these cupcakes. So I'll see you there. We're back. Let's do a super quick haul. I need to get into decorating these. I'm limited on time. Um, I did get these treat boxes as a cute little way to maybe transport some of them or have them available for like people to take extras home because I'll show you what else I grabbed to like transport these there in the first place. I found these treat boxes at Walmart and they're like for cupcakes, like literally the same thing that you buy cupcakes in from like the grocery store bakery or whatever. So that's for like six cupcakes, but if someone wants to take home like one or two, like I don't want them to just take that whole thing. So maybe the treat boxes will be better for that. It was only three bucks and they're super cute and they come with the little stickers too, it's adorable. Hi Pepper, hi. Oh my goodness, my baby boy. And then for the decorating, I did get this decorating set with eight piping bags and four cupcake tips, what frosting tips, whatever. So it comes with all that stuff. I know I probably could have gotten this much cheaper somewhere else, like buying them separately, even at like the dollar store, but I was in a rush and I just wanted to get everything all in one place. So for the frosting, I think I have powdered sugar already, but I want to use a fresh batch just in case because I don't remember how long mine has been sitting there in the pantry. So got fresh powdered sugar and a little bit of heavy whipping cream that we'll need for this. And then I got the hand mixer that I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to kind of organize the kitchen area a little bit, wash my hands, wash this, and we'll start getting into this. <laughs> Okay, so here's how the frosting came out. I think the consistency is really good. So I'm just kind of trying to get some of the air bubbles out of it. My plan was to do half, just like regular white frosting and half pink, but we'll see. We'll see how far we get. We literally have to leave in 30 minutes. So <laughs> no pressure, no pressure whatsoever. I think that is just about half. The rest I will try to do pink. Oh, the thing I don't know how to do is close it at the top. How do you close it? <laughs> this is where we're at. <laughs> I'm literally gonna use a bread tag because I have so many of them. Might as well put them to good use. The pink frosting worked. Oh my God, it worked. T minus 24 minutes, besties. 24 minutes. Let me be smart. And as I finish decorating them, I put them in the containers. Okay, so I think in each I'll put one of each flavor, one of each wrapper shade color if that makes sense by the way i've literally never decorated cupcakes in my life so this is a first i'm not gonna go too heavy on frosting because nowadays at least me i'm just not big on frosting like i'll take a little bit so i'm gonna try to keep it just what's needed you know what's needed and also my idea that i had for using up the heart thingies was to put them on top of the cupcakes, then like in the middle, put like Nutella or something. And then that could be an option for people who don't like frosting, but I don't know if I have time for them. These look so cute. Honestly, this is not too bad. Okay, sprinkles, sprinkles. I'm gonna do a light dusting of like pink ones. And then here we'll do like the little pearls. Okay, this is so cute. I'm in love, I'm in love. I really hope these taste good. My camera died, so I have to use my phone, but here's how everything turned out. They're a little cloudy because I put them in the fridge just because I didn't want them just to be sitting on the counter. But yeah, we got all the cupcakes ready to go. So I'm bringing all of these and then here are the minis. Those are gonna be for the staff. I'm very excited, very nervous, but yeah, we're gonna go and I'll check back in with you once we get back home and let you know how it all went. I'm back home now. Everything went really well. Um, games were fun. Everybody liked the cupcakes. I got compliments. I came home with a few extras, really only just like four of them. I dropped off a whole box to uh, one of my friends that didn't end up coming. So I came home with only like four cupcakes and 
now it's gonna be three because I'm gonna eat one even though I already had two today but it's fine it's Valentine's Day anyways I'm just cleaning up some of the makeup that I left here when I was scrambling to do my makeup this morning because I left it all over my desk as per usual so I'm just gonna clean this up I have to get to bed pretty early tonight because I have a meeting tomorrow and it's at 12 and I've been waking up at 12 lately so I have to get to sleep at some point but it's for a really exciting sponsor that I'm honestly so shocked that I'm even going to be working with. I don't know how much I can talk about it but you'll definitely see it later in the year. Um, it's kind of like a big project so it's going to take like a few months to even make the video or videos that I have to make for it. Y you'll see. It's, I'm so excited. Something that I did want to do with you is put together my boyfriend's Valentine's Day gift basket. I thought that would be really fun. Honestly, if it was up to him, my boyfriend would tell me just to give it to him now because he's that type of person where he is like too eager and anxious to give me like my gifts. So he'll give me like my birthday presents like the night before my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> or like Christmas presents like a few days before Christmas because he just doesn't want to wait. I'm the opposite. I love saving gifts for like the actual day to make the actual day feel more special, you know? But he doesn't know I'm doing this, so I'm gonna give it to him tomorrow. All right, we're on the floor. Welcome. Thanks for being here with me. Let's put this together real quick and then I will probably just edit for the rest of the night. But I ended up picking up this basket today at Target. I think I overdid it. Because <laughs> now that I'm looking at all the stuff I got him, it's actually not that much. And I got some of this little paper shred stuff. And we'll put this in the bottom. All right, let's put this in there. There we go. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We'll just kind of fix this up. And this will help it not look so sad, I guess. And then the cats can play with this. It's like two gifts in one. One for my boyfriend, one for the cats. Actually, Pepper loves to eat this stuff, so they can't play with it because he'll just eat it. So the biggest item I'm going to put in the back of it. You know, we'll go from biggest to shortest. So here's the Knuckles <laughs> Mac Lego. So I'll put that just like... There we go, yeah. And then I also saw these at Target a while ago and had to get them for him. They're tiny Funko Pop Ninja Turtles. My boyfriend used to be very into Funko Pops, like had a huge Funko Pop collection, but he kind of got over them and he got rid of pretty much all of them. At first I was like, is he gonna like it? It's Funko Pops, but they're so cute and tiny and they come with like a little shelf to display them. So I think it's cute. Like it's it's cute. It's not an actual Funko Pop, but like it's it's really cute. Like I don't really like Funko Pops, but if someone gave me a Funko Pop collection like this of like mini ones of like a series or characters that I really liked, I would still keep it and think that's adorable because it's just adorable. <laughs> and I had to get three boxes just to make sure he gets all of the characters. I don't see Casey Jones on like the three main ones, but there's a mystery in each. So I'm hoping that he's one of the mysteries in all of them because that's my boyfriend's favorite Ninja Turtles character. Now it's just little things. Uh, I got two Sour Patch Kids boxes for him. Uh, should I put these actually in the back? Okay, I tried to arrange them all so it's like this. So the Sour Patch are kind of like mixed in. Lastly, we just have really small things. So we have the magic card pack which i'm so upset slash sad today we were talking about magic and he was saying how he was just like not really interested in this series it's or set that came out i'm like dang it <laughs> but i think he'll still appreciate it i mean you can still get good cards in there so and then we've got two uber eats gift cards these gift cards honestly are so lame like this design like what what is that and yeah that's pretty much it pepper decided to sit in the target bag mm -hmm. that's your bed now please don't mind my carpet i know it's covered in cat fur i need to vacuum it but here it is we've got the uber eats the magic turtles sour patch lego i think he'll really like it i'm very excited and of course i do have a valentine's day card i got this love the shell out of you and it has a turtle because ninja turtles <laughs> Hello, it is the next day and I'm just sitting down to do my makeup. Um, we have our Valentine's Day dinner today. It's kind of an early dinner. We're going at four. So I'm going to start getting ready now. It's already three. 
Um, I had my meeting this morning and I was working on a video to finish editing it and stuff. So time kind of got away from me. So I have an hour, which should be fine. I threw on just a little bit of makeup earlier just for my meeting. So I looked presentable, but we're going to try and work with this because I was like, you know what? I'll just do it sloppily and I'll just take it off and redo it later. But I don't really feel like doing that. Anyways, I'm using the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with the niacinamide in it. Honestly, they say that this one is good for oily skin, but I don't know if I've truly noticed a difference. All of my makeup is really crusty, by the way, so please don't judge me. I think maybe in this video specifically, I want to do like a makeup reset because, um, yeah, it's really bad. My concealer is this CoverGirl Clean Matte Concealer. It sucks. Don't get it, but I'm just trying to use it all up. I already put some pink on my lids but do I want to do something more? I don't know. I kind of just want to slap some sparkles on top and just kind of call it a day. Usually when I let the concealer sit, I do my brows, but I already kind of did those. Okay, I'm impatient, so I'm just going to blend out the concealer. I've been using these little like finger pad sponges I got at the Dollar Tree. They work okay. They work okay. I just feel like with this concealer specifically, it's so bad that whenever I use a beauty blender, if I don't wet it, I don't wet my beauty blender, so it just like soaks up all of the concealer. So I feel like this soaks up a little bit less. Okay, I literally feel like there's nothing there. <laughs> but back to the concealer, I don't know if it's this specific concealer or just my skin, but I crease under my eyes pretty bad. So to help with that, I immediately put some powder under there. Oh, hi, Pepper. Hello. Are you stealing the show today? Is this your makeup? time on the vlog. Okay, I think I'll put some more pink under my eyeballs. I'm gonna use the Malibu Barbie ColourPop palette. It's very crusty. Please don't look at it. And one of my eyeshadows kind of like exploded everywhere. Ah, it's falling. One of the shimmers. So it's not great. This is such an awkward angle, but I'm gonna use this pink. <laughs> if you ever see a dark pink on my eyes, it's usually that one. So... I'm just gonna take it underneath my eyeballs. I really do love makeup and I would love to share like my makeup routine and stuff like that, like literally from start to finish, but I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm so insecure about showing my face on the internet without makeup. I don't know if I've ever talked about this, but I'm literally so insecure about it. Like one of my things on the internet, like to never do, I always tell myself like, you're never showing your bare face on the internet. Like I'm just, I'm not quite there yet. I'm not quite there yet. I never wore makeup before I started my YouTube channel. Um, in 2020, it was the first year I started even thinking about wearing makeup regularly because I was going to be showing my face on the internet and, you know, I wanted to look good. So that's when I started learning. And after that, like, I always have started wearing makeup now, even if it's a little bit. And I mean, I've shown myself in vlogs before with like very minimal makeup, but at the bare minimum, eyeliner and lashes of some sort which i don't have anything on my lashes now so that's why i'm like mm, i'm hoping to keep this in the video and i don't feel insecure when i watch it back and decide i'm not going to put it in there but that's something that i'm definitely wanting to work on and it definitely hinders me sometimes like there's content i want to make but it would involve me showing my bare face and i'm like no i'm not gonna do that next i'm using this animal crossing isabel palette again crusty i know um, but I'm just going to use this light pink shade. If you ever see a light pink on my lids, it's this. So I'm just going to add more of this. This is what I already have on my lids. And I just, I don't know, I, I start comparing myself to others. I start looking at people who show their bare face on TikTok and I'm like, wow, they look so beautiful with their bare face. Like, I look so terrible with a bare face. Like, I could never do this content that they're doing you know but we shall work on that and we shall get out of that mindset eventually so usually i bring my eyeliner all the way across my eyelid if i'm gonna put on lashes but if i'm just curling them i only bring it up like to the middle of my eye however to add some more color i know this is not the right color i have this red eyeliner from sunset makeup i'm gonna do like a little inner corner thingamajig oh no do i want sparkles or maybe I put some highlight first and then we do that. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. Again, using that little Isabel palette, I'm just going to use this. Whatever this is, it's technically yellow. I just try to really be careful with buying makeup because I can so easily get sucked into buying so much unnecessary makeup that I'm like, okay, Raven, you need to chill 
And that is why I am just using up oh, my little eye boogie. Uh, that's why I'm just using up my concealer, even though it's bad. Cause I'm like, okay, use what you have and then go buy a new one once you need to replace it. You know what I mean? Replace. Now let's do a little inner corner thingy. I'm very bad at these, so we'll try our best. Kind of just becoming like a mess in my inner corner. <laughs> but you know what, whatever. Oh no, what just got all over my face? It's my crusty makeup, no! Pretty sure that's just lipstick, whatever. I'm probably gonna put blush there anyways. Once again, the Isabel eyeshadow palette. I use this thing so much. I'm gonna use this pink glitter here. It's just honestly so perfect. I'll just put it all over, why not? Um, this is the Revlon Color Stay 24 Hours Long Wear Makeup Combination slash Oily Skin. It's not my favorite formula ever. I used the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation before and I liked that better, but this matches me almost exactly i usually use a beauty blender um mine is out of commission right now um aka i dropped it on the floor and i need to get a new one so i'm using the tiny thing <laughs> honestly i hate wearing foundation a lot it just i don't know i just don't want something like all over my skin and i don't want to feel like i can't even touch my face because i have stuff all over it you know what i mean but I'll wear it occasionally. I usually wear it for videos, but like for every day, like no thanks. This feels so ridiculous right now, <laughs> but it's okay. But I mean, can you see it? Like, I feel like this is a really good shade match. Another thing about this foundation, I feel like it's very oily, even though it's literally supposed to be for oily skin. But when I put it on, I just feel like my face is wet. Not physically, but like the looks, it just looks shiny. I guess shiny is the better term. Lastly, I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I use the, I think this is Maybelline Lash Paradise Waterproof. Um, this is my Holy Grail mascara right now. I have repurchased this a lot of times. This is what it looks like. It's crusty, as you know. Okay, I'm just gonna finish up here and do my hair, do my lips, put on my outfit. I'll check in with you for the final look. Where's the outfit? Just had to place you in a weird spot to get like a full body view. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I tried to lighten up my eyebrows because I feel like they just felt super like dark. So I attempted to lighten them up. I think I did okay. So yeah, this is the, this is the outfit. Very excited. We're gonna go get some fondue and I'm gonna enjoy every bit of it. Every bit. We're gonna be so full by the time we get back. Oh. It's the next day. Hey, what's up? I didn't really check in at all yesterday. Honestly, after the fondue, I was just completely dead. Like I literally felt like I was about to explode. Like I ate so much. I took a long nap after that. It was very well needed. And we just played like a bunch of video games together for the rest of the night and then got Wendy's later. So it was a, it was a Valentine's day for sure. It was, but anyways, I'm in my bathroom because I want to clean my makeup brushes. Doing my makeup yesterday, I was like, wow, this is so embarrassing. Like my makeup is, like my makeup stuff is so gross. So I'm like, you know what? Let's deep clean it together because I've been meaning to do it. I've been putting it off for so long and at least, you know, I can record the satisfying content for you. But really quick, I just wanted to show you what my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. So he did get me a bunch of these earrings from like this little Etsy shop that makes earrings out of Legos. And also I got these little cats, they're little Lego cats. They're so cute. And then he got me these little Lego pumpkins. And then these are kind of hard to focus on, but little Lego bobas, aren't those so cute? And this was a very Lego centric um, <laughs> Valentine's day, but I started cracking up after he gave me my main Lego set because we got each other the same Lego set. We got each other the same freaking Lego set because I love Knuckles from Sonic like as a meme, but also like genuine, like he's probably my favorite Sonic character. And I always say like, oh, I love Knuckles. I love Knuckles. So he got me the same one and I was dying laughing. And I was like, I didn't tell him why I was cracking up. I was like, let me go get your gift. And as I'm walking away, he's like, oh no. So we got each other the same Lego set, but he also got me Lego roses. 
so these are my valentine's day flowers that i got i'm so excited i was really hoping that he would get me some lego flowers so i'm so excited that he did and then also his valentine's day gift to me was paying for our dinner together our little fondue dinner so it was very nice of him we're gonna get to cleaning my makeup brushes um this is my crusty dusty makeup pouch what i do is i sharpen my eyebrow pencil and i just put the shavings back in here it's really bad so we need to give everything in here a deep clean not only the brushes but like my actual products so we're gonna do that i just cleaned my sink and i'm just gonna fill up my sink with like water or actually i don't know what i'm gonna do but we're gonna figure it out i got these toothbrushes over here because i use these for cleaning so just in case i need to scrub any of this stuff anyways let's get into it i'm gonna lay down a towel over here just to lay stuff as it dries i think i use this for my makeup at some point because it is stained but whatever it still works fine and we'll get all of my random hair out of the way because so we don't want that. So I've got my crusty makeup bag over here on the side. I'm just gonna one by one do this and then set it over here. We'll do a little bit of water in here. I guess I will use a little bit of makeup remover, but I don't wanna use too much. I'm also gonna use some dish soap. We'll get to work besties, we'll get to work. update we still have quite a bit of makeup to go and oh here's how the sink is looking um i'm gonna go ahead and drain it because it's just getting too nasty but oh my goodness that is gross i remember when the water was clear i was just letting my tools soak and i found another pair of tweezers but ah <laughs> this is oh god but we look over here and ah uh, everything is so clean so it's well worth it it's well worth it Here is everything complete drying out, including my tools. And some things are stained just a tiny bit, but hey, it's much better than what it was before. I think what I need is a new system because the bag that I have is just not it and it's disgusting now anyway. So there is something I've been thinking of getting. I might go grab that today. back home we ate a quick dinner and now i'm gonna organize this makeup so yes i did make the impromptu trip to lowe's to grab this thing toolbox organizer that i'm gonna use for my makeup um i saw it on tiktok so i thought it would be cute the other reason why it's gonna work so well is because i need something to prop up my little mirror on i also need to clean this mirror in the spirit of cleaning and uh, i've been using a cardboard box this is actually perfect because not only will it store my makeup but i can put my mirror on it and then you know, just do my makeup in here. So that's gonna work perfectly. This top piece flips up. So we have a little shallow storage space here. I'm thinking my makeup brushes. And then we have one little drawer right here. So this one is not too, too deep. And then we have a bigger drawer here. And this one's much deeper, so yeah. The only thing is it's really heavy, so that kind of sucks. I wish it was a little bit lighter, but it should be fine. I guess we could do brushes in here, although I am curious if I maybe want to do palettes instead, because I feel like this would actually be the best spot for them, maybe. Oh, that fits perfectly. Okay, so I could fit four of the little ones in here if I really wanted to. I think that's a good number to fit in here. Okay, yeah, so we'll do palettes up top and I will give these a wipe down before I put them in here forever, especially this one. I guess in our top drawer, we could do the makeup brushes and tools, I suppose. Honestly, I condensed all of my makeup that was in my makeup bag um, to the very basic essentials. I have a whole extra drawer underneath my sink where I keep like my extra stuff, like my extra makeup. So if I really need something, I can just go get it from there. I also have this, which is like a little color switching eyeshadow, like 
rub your brushes on there to switch eyeshadow colors. So I'll stick that in there also. That's pretty good, honestly, I think. And then the rest of everything can go in this drawer, which holds so much that it all will fit very easily. Uh, two eyeliners, got my little glitter. Uh, there was even stuff in the bottom of that makeup bag that I forgot I had, like this poreless putty primer, <laughs> my beautiful baby mascara, uh, brow gel. Uh, my lash glue is hanging on for dear life. Dear, dear life. I just ordered some new ones. We don't talk about her. And then the Elf Power Grip. I also have the Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. And if I could just cram that in there, perfect. We'll close this bad boy up. It's snacky time. So I took two of the little heart things that I made from the excess cupcake batter and I stacked them on top of each other. And I put some Nutella down in there. Ooh, ooh, I'm so excited. It's almost like a mini lava cake kind of. Oh my God, look at that. I should have microwaved it. That would have been so good. Oh. I'm too lazy to get back up. I've been recording an Animal Crossing video for the past like two and a half hours. I am so tired. It's 2.30. So yeah, I think I'm going to sleep. But I'm going to say goodnight for now. I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next day and we're going to get into a plushie haul because I've been saving up all my plushies that I have been getting to uh, haul them for you because I love to do that. So let's get into it. First, let's talk Build-A-Bears. A lot of you have been asking me, did I get the Pachaco Build-A-Bear? And yes, I absolutely did. I know there's a Kuropi one and I keep meaning to grab him off the website, but I just keep forgetting. So I will get him sooner or later. But of course I had to pick up my baby Pachaco. He is so cute and perfect. I love him so much. But more Build-A-Bears that I got, they did have baby multicolored frogs so i had to pick them up i think that this one is new ish and this one's been around but i just never picked it up but he was on sale so i grabbed him so i have two new baby build a bears they're so cute and then there are some squishmallows which are second hand i found all of these second hand in different ways so first of all um you've already seen this girl before i got her at goodwill for $3.99 and I actually used to own her but I'm gonna use her for a Squishmallow craft that I want to do like something very cursed like the blanket so I'm holding on to her for that until I find more of her friends to also slice open and dissect and whatever. I went to a flea market a couple weekends ago and I found this bad boy and as you know I was trying to find him um, in the mystery bags at Target and never found him. Um, he was only a dollar, but because he has a little hole right here, if you can see, which doesn't really bother me, I know I can sew that up. And then lastly, these were probably a little more impulsive than any of these, but I got some Squishmallows off of Mercari. I did get some Bigfoots. Take a wild guess at which Bigfoots they are. They're more Zozos. Yup. I picked up two more at 5 Inch Zozos, which is like my all-time favorite Squishmallow slash all-time favorite plushie, specifically the 5 inch Zozos. I love their multicolored hair. I love their little crooked faces when they are crooked. This one is a little bit crooked. Um, I was on Mercari for something else and you know how like on the homepage it'll show you like, oh, recommended for you or whatever. I saw these two for a really good price. I believe it was like eight or nine dollars. Yeah, those are the second hand Squishmallows that I did end up getting. And lastly, you've seen him already before also if you watched my thrift with me video, but I did get the Webkin's Frog for $2.99. I still need to wash him, but I wanted to leave the price tag on so I remembered how much I bought him for. So yeah, we have this big chonky man. He is so precious. Love him. I'm gonna add him to my little collection of Webkin's frogs, which you know what? Let me show you my collection. Here's my collection if you have not seen it before. Obviously, um, these are not Webkin's and this guy is not a Webkin's, but these three are. So I have the love frog, the red eye tree frog, and I think this is a bullfrog and this is a kin's clip. So those are my uh, Webkin's frogs. I don't know how I'm going to fit the other one that I just got here. We'll figure it out. So that's going to be it for this vlog. I still have to edit and do a bunch of other boring chores today. So I'll get going. Thank you so much for spending all this time with me. I really, really appreciate it. I always love doing vlogs so much. And uh, I definitely want to do some more thrifting and shopping videos. I didn't really do any thrifting or shopping in this video besides going to Target because now I think... I'm having fun doing dedicated videos to those, which, you know, it, it feels more focused when I do those and I can concentrate just fully on the shopping instead of just doing it for like five minutes somewhere in a vlog. So let me know if you prefer that and if you just prefer the vlogs being like me doing stuff at home, you know, showing you random stuff and I don't even, what did I even do in this video? I don't know, but let me know what you prefer. Um, but yeah, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.